All right, YouTube, just leaving Fruta. I swear I saw another YouTuber when I was gassing up at the gas station. Uh, I think something biker chick or something like that. XT250 in this area. I think it was the same girl. I actually just stumbled across her video the other day of Baxter Pass. That's Fruta's old, old refinery right there. A few miles west of town on 50. US 6, whatever you want to call this. Basically just a bunch of rusted tanks and other refinery tank crap. It's been out of commission for I don't know how long. Okay, we just pulled onto South Road, north of Mac, Colorado. This road pretty much is the road that leads to Badger Pass. There's a few Y's in it and crap, but... Well, YouTube, this is where the journey really starts. Garfield 201 County Road, Garfield County. Historic right-of-way. Dry weather only, four-wheel drive recommended, Baxter Pass Road. Ready, Shonka? Let's do it. All right, I think we have about 10 miles till Summit, and the road's finally starting to get a little bumpy. Oh, we'll see. This should be cool. Okay, YouTube, we're in the old town site of Etchy, Colorado, I believe. Etchy? Yeah, Shunka's excited to be out of the car. And there's this one building, the walls of a... Hey, psst, leave the fence alone. Old railroad building. And somewhere around here there's supposed to be foundations. And that's about all there is here. But Etchy, Colorado. You'll be just crapped out a little bit. She'll be fine once she cools down though. I already know that. Take advantage of this while it cools down. Pull out the Nikon, take some snapshots. Cause look at that. Well YouTube, I had to turn Essel around. Not because of any problems with the Honda or anything, but remember this road's not closed or anything crazy like that. State, state. Let's walk over this way. Obviously, there's these rocks here. I could have gotten around those. Oh.
So you can already tell this is not looking good. And Shunko's being a crybaby back there, but we have to check this out. Yeah, I don't care how badass your Jeep is. With that drop off right there, I don't think you're getting through that on any four-wheeled vehicle. I don't think so. I I wouldn't even try it on a big motorcycle like a 1200 GS or anything like that. And Shunka figure out how to use the horn. But yeah, look at that view down into the valley. Pretty cool. I am severely disappointed. Yeah, so we're going back down the mountain. I think there's a nice campsite off one of the switchbacks. Well, I wasn't really too excited about that campsite I had spotted earlier. It was what I thought it was, but what I thought was alkali it smelt a little funny to me. I don't know if it was pesticide or fire retardant or what so just doing an overnighter here at I really wish I knew how to pronounce that name I think it's Achi 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 probably Achi I don't know Shunka look at this heavy duty fence right here I wonder why it's falling down is there really just that post there, that center post, and one post over there? Hey, Shunka, get your head out of there. I think it's mainly to, 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 yeah, to deter vehicles from driving up in there. Uh, so I did some more looking around here. Have a little bit of rubble right up in here. Just a little piece of foundation, concrete, and a mostly disintegrated railroad tie. Where did I see that at? Up in there. Then over by those power lines, there is a decent sized pile of half buried rubble, I assume foundation. all the thick pieces. There's some more foundation and crap back in there. General rubble. Steel. I guess I'll just end the video here then, unless something interesting happens tonight. With Shunka laying in the middle of the road right now, something interesting could happen. Why are you being stupid? Um, what was I talking about? Yeah. I think I'll just end the video here. Thanks for watching, YouTube.